For some reason, people want stupidly quick SUVs. Personally, I don't see the appeal. Don't get me wrong, I love speed, and I do understand everybody needs a practical vehicle. But for the price most of these super SUVs go for, you can buy a dedicated sports car and a practical car for the family. But if you want a big, spacious car with tons of power and decent cornering performance, Aston has a great alternative to the Urus and the Porsche Cayenne. This is the Aston Martin DBX 707 and it got its name because 707 is how much metric horsepower the car makes. What an original idea, Aston. Anyways, the power is produced through a 4 litre twin turbo AMG V8 that Aston played with and tuned in house. Now, why 707 horsepower, you might ask? Well, you see, it's a game of mine is bigger than yours in the sports car industry. So the Bentley Bentayga produces 626 horsepower. The Lamborghini Urus produces 641 horsepower. Then Porsche came and showed everybody their PP is bigger and they made a car with 670 horsepower. And now Aston had to show that they the biggest PP in the room with 707 horsepower. Personally, I think that 700 on the dot would have been cooler, like 007 backwards, you know, I think that would be quite cool. Now, it pr probably sounds like I dislike these types of cars, and this car specifically. I don't. I think it's pretty cool. I love a big V8 powered sports car. I just don't see the point. So I like the car, it's just not something I can see myself buy, if that makes sense. And here's why. Have you ever driven spiritedly with your girlfriend or wife in the car? They hate it. And if your children are in the car, you are just putting their lives in danger. In other words, you will only really enjoy the car when you are alone. Which means you could rather buy a freaking GT3 RS. Or you can buy a BMW X3, which is also proper fast. And with the money that's left, you can buy a Carrera 4 Porsche. So, it just buy a sports car that you can enjoy and then buy a family car that your family can enjoy. Because your family is not going to enjoy the sports part of your big SUV. Anyways. Let's, let's just move on. It's, it's, I just think it's a dumb idea. Let's get on to the performance specs since that is a huge part of why people buy these. So this huge thing will reach 60 in just 3.1 seconds, which is stupid fast. That's super car territory. And Aston reckons it's not just fast in a straight line. They want to take on Porsche's record of 7 minutes 38 around the Nürburgring that Porsche set in their Cayenne Turbo GT. And if they do beat Porsche, it would be really impressive. I mean the 4th of 8 Italia Ferrari lapped the ring in the same time. So this SUV would be faster than a supercar in a straight line and in the corners. Now for a car of this size to accomplish this, they will need more than just raw power. You need to be able to stop the thing, you need to grip in the corners and you need a suspension that can keep the car relatively flat through the corners. And Aston knows this, which means the 707 has massive 16.5 inch carbon ceramic rotors as standard, 22 inch rims wrapped in sporty Pirelli tires, and probably some fancy adjustable suspension setup. Hopefully the car still drives comfortably for day to day use, because sometimes when a car is designed to be fast around a track, they tend to drive like actual poop on the road. Talking about day to day use, this isn't just a sports car, it should be practical too. So let's talk interior. The DBX 707 still uses Aston's existing infotainment system, the one based on Mercedes last generation star architecture. For seats you can choose, either you can have the sporty race seats, which does look cool, or you can keep the comfortable comfort seats. So you can choose, you can either have a less comfortable seat that will hold you in the corners and like do the deed that this car is designed for, or you can have the more comfortable seat, but then the whole reason for buying the 707 over the normal D DBX is kind of like useless because you won't be able to go faster around the corners because you'll feel like you're going to fall out of the car the whole time. That's just stupid in my opinion. If you want the comfort seats, just buy the normal DBX. Yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like a grumpy old man making this video. I'm just like complaining the whole time. Anyways, conclusion. It's really pretty on the inside and out. It's also more practical than the DBS, but it's cock expensive and I just don't see the appeal. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, go through my channel. I've got loads more videos just like this one. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.